Hello, my name is Kezia, and today we're going to continue our discussion about choice making with the software application ProLoQuo to go. We are going to mainly focus on vision today. My daughter Sienna has a condition called cortical visual impairment. Today we are going to perform some exercises to encourage her use of vision. We have set up a new folder in her iPad called My Vision. My Vision. In the folder are two folders called CVI Book and Picture Hunt. Inside the CVI Book folder, CVI book. we have taken two pictures from the CVI Complex Sequence Book by Christine Roman. Sienna will select which exercise she wants to perform, and then we will have her try to identify the specific character on each one of the pages in the sequence. As we go through the pages, the pictures become more complex. Therefore, it is more difficult to find the character on the page. For example, with the yellow dog, you can see the first picture is very large and it's definitely easy to see where the yellow dog is on the page. As we go through the sequence, the picture changes, it becomes smaller. We add a background. We add more details. As the pages become more complex, it is typical that people with CVI have a more difficult time finding the character. Today we are going to see how far Sienna will go through the sequence and try to have a little fun while we are performing the exercise, giving her breaks so that she can continue and try to find each character. We decided to start the exercise by having Sienna's sister, Zeneca, model how to identify each one of the pictures. Ultimately, we are looking for Sienna to point to the picture, but if she just gazes at the picture, I will call that an identification. All right, then. Can you point to the yellow dog? Okay. We want Sienna to see this. Can you point to the yellow dog? That's right. Can you point to the yellow dog? There it is. Can you point to this yellow dog? Yeah, a dog. Okay, where's the yellow dog? That's right. Can you point up to the yellow dog? And where's that yellow dog? Yeah. And can you find the yellow dog? Good job, Zed. You made it all the way through. Yay! Hello. The modeling was very successful. As Zeneca was identifying each one of the pictures, Sienna started pointing to her dog. Then she watched Zeneca as she pointed to each one of the pictures. Now it's Sienna's turn. Let's see what she'll do. Sienna, can you see the yellow dog? Once we got to the third picture, Sienna began to lose focus. At this point, we decided to stop and go back and ask Sienna which exercise she wanted to perform. Did she want to perform the yellow dog exercise or did she want to go ahead and try the brown bear exercise? Going back and asking Sienna which exercise she wants to perform will help her buy into the whole process as she is telling us what she wants to do. Sienna, would you like to do yellow dog or brown bear? Yellow dog. Yellow dog. Oh, dog it is. 
Can you point to the yellow dog? Dog! dog. Can you touch the yellow dog? Dog, 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 dog. She's looking at him. She's not touching it. Sienna. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where's that yellow dog? <laughs> there it is. Another great tactic to help kids with CBI to see is to actually put the object or the person in motion. We think that putting the object or person in motion helps her brain connect the dots so that she can see the picture more clearly. Sienna did great with this exercise today. She's definitely making progress. We will continue using the CBI Complex Book as consistency and routine is definitely the key to progress. If you wanna see more, please subscribe to Kezia Hale on YouTube. And if you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you.